You know, some people will go the extra mile to help others. That's the case with our good friend meteorologist Ron Smiley. He's dedicated himself to wearing pink to help fight against breast cancer. And I think he looks good in pink, too. Ron MC to kick off event for the American Cancer Society's Real Men Wear Pink campaign and the upcoming Making Strides Against Breast Cancer Walk yesterday morning. And now he's here with us this morning along with a fellow real man to tell us what they are up to and why. Welcome Nick Stupak. How do you say your last Stupakis. name? Stupakis. Stupakis. Thank you so much. And he is the leading fundraiser in the entire country in this year's inaugural campaign. Wow. Unbelievable. Thank you. Leading the country. Yeah, leading How the much? country. Uh, today, I think we're right around 46,000. Nice. So we have another wow. 20 coming in. So we, we're hopeful to get to 60 just in our campaign. But I think with, amazing. with all of our real <laughs> men, we're looking at hopefully over 100,000. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ron, you're doing, awesome. you're doing about that, right? <laughs> a little bit. A little shy of that. A little shy of that. There. Yeah. So, Nick, how many years have you done? You said two years? This, no, this is, is my first year. I was nominated. Uh, another gentleman that I work with nominated me last year, and this is and my first year. And that was the first year for the campaign. That was the first year right. for the campaign, the yeah. Yeah, gotcha. wow. And so uh, tell us about how the idea came about. Yeah, what motivated you to take on this cause? You know, I think that for myself personally, um, being in healthcare and working through the Allegheny Health Network, it was really important. You see the fight that so many families go through every mm -hmm. single day. Yeah. Um, being able to take, you know, you feel responsible that you have to use your time and your talents to really um, help out all of the patients in our network. And then personally, when you become a consumer of healthcare, uh, my mom is currently going through her third fight with cancer. Oh. And so it, um, you know, it was a small way that alongside the love and support that my family gives her that um, I could fight alongside of her. How, how incredibly difficult and how is she, how's your mom doing? She's a fighter, you know, yeah. Greek lady. She's, uh, she's ready to fight. Okay. Oh. God bless her. We'll be thinking about her. Thank her you. In our prayers. Ron, how about you? What was your motivation? For I'm similar. Uh, you know, my mother-in-law is dealing with cancer right now. Also, I lost, a lot of folks might not know it, but I lost my mom as well to cancer when I was pretty young. So, mm -hmm. so there's, I think when you look at cancer, pretty much everyone's been impacted in some way, oh, yeah. right. shape or form by cancer. And so uh, to be asked to help, to do anything, to try to raise money, it was just a privilege. And Ron, I know you had a big impact on the crowd at the at the MC event that you did. Yeah. MCing because you shared that story with so many people. And like you said, so many people can relate. And right. so it really, I think it touched the audience there. Yeah, I think we're really kind of gearing up. It seems weird, just 10 more weeks to go <laughs> uh, of fundraising. Uh, but we're really starting to gear up right now and really going to start moving forward with fundraising. And I know a lot of uh, exciting events are coming up with it as well. And let's face it, you guys like pink, right? We do. We do. We do. <laughs> My wardrobe yeah. beefed up on the pink. Right. Yeah. Let's talk about the strides that have been yeah. made against cancer, breast cancer in particular. How, how are we doing? Have there been improvements in recent years and what are they? Yeah, I mean, I would say that yesterday we were in an event and I think Ron yeah. uh, went through a lot of statistics of all of the amazing, um, you know, not just treatments and changes in treatments and, um, you know, prevention is such a key point to everything, but there's so many different ways now that um, we can fight this terrible disease and so many different charities that are able to give quality of life to, to people that are going through it. And so I think it's really, um, you know, the, the funds that have been supportive of the organization have really gone to good use. And, and I think that also it's important to realize that what we're doing and the money that we're going fundraising isn't just for research, it's also for rides for cancer patients to get to uh, where they need to go for yeah. their Chemo treatments. The practical for, stuff. Right. Yeah. For <laughs> for makeup, for yeah. things like that, to make uh, women or whoever's going through this feel as comfortable and as confident as possible. A lot of times it's that confidence, it's people, family being behind you that's going to give you that extra push and extra motivation. That's where some of this money is also going. And here are some of these statistics. Uh, they say in 2017 there will be over 250,000 new diagnoses. Yeah. That's like and, one every two minutes. Right. <laughs> and then in Pennsylvania alone, 11,300 is what they're expecting. They also say, I mean, we hear so much about breast cancer and so many people survive it, but they estimate that there will be over 41,000 deaths because of breast cancer this and year. Don't forget, it's not just women. Men. Also, I was going to bring this yeah, up. Men also get breast cancer as well. Yeah. It's not as, com as uh, common, but still, it's something that uh, some men have to go through as well. And what, what typically is the, uh, once the diagnosis is made, for both of you, this question, I'll throw it out, what, what are the stages or the steps right. that, that folks have to go through? And, and how painful is it? Uh, how long does it last? Well, you know, and I, I think that's one of the things I know we're, it we're listening. Right, and we were listening to survivors yesterday, and they said, you know, until you're actually going through this, um, you really just don't understand what's at stake and what it 
pushes your body to get through and everything else. And a lot of times that's the helpful thing is that um, this money that we are raising also goes to network these uh, people that are going through this with right. survivors, with those that have been through this before so that they can completely understand. I don't think Nick or myself would ever say, hey, we understand what you're going yeah. through, uh, but we can uh, you know, support as much as possible and be there when you need us to be, and that's, that's what we're trying to do. So you guys are doing a great thing with this uh, guys wear pink thing, but yeah. what, this is all leading up to the Making Strides Against Cancer? Is yep. that what it's called, breast mm -hmm. cancer? Yeah. Well, yeah, so what we're doing is uh, all the way through October, uh, October 31st, and especially in the month of October, you're going to see us wearing a lot of pink. Mm -hmm. uh, just to get kind of a reminder that we are raising money uh, for this event. And so each one of us has said, hey, we're going to start off at $2,500 and we're going to try to raise even more money than that. Now, some people, this like guy over Nick, here, yeah, yeah they're, they're, they're laughing. They're, they're, right. they're, they're on the you know 20th and 40th <laughs> lap. Past that number. I had to beat Ron. Right, yeah. Right. Some of us, you know, yeah, we're still getting there. Uh, but I, I think every little, every little every, bit helps. Right, every yeah. little bit helps. And, uh, you know, uh, man, I think all the guys, all of us, yeah. uh, we're marveled by what Nick's doing. And we also are just, it, it's kind of a, a kind of symbolic of us just being all together and doing this. I think it's gotten us and all I, And your, your big walk is coming up when? In October? Yeah, that's next month that will, well, beginning of October, right, for the big uh, walk as well. And each one of the real men wear pink that we're all having, hosting our own event. And so through the month of October, there'll probably be 18 to 20 events. I know mine personally is I'm going to throw a Greek food festival and, you know, we're going to, you know, have a bunch of uh, dancers and Uzo and a lot of music and fun. So I think nice. all of the men are yeah. hosting something in the month of October. Yep. Oh, you're going to get a lot of people there. <laughs> and your goal is 60,000, is that right? My goal is 60,000. You know, the group I think is $100,000 total, but I think that with yeah. uh, with all the guys we have, I think we're going to try to push for 200,000 yep. as a group. Awesome. Amazing wow. stuff. That's thank incredible. you. Guys, both of you, thank awesome. you very much for what you're doing. All right, and you can help support Nick, Ron, and all the others, all the other guys who are stepping up to help fight breast cancer in the Real Men Wear Pink campaign. You can also help out by taking part in that Making Strides event that we were just talking about. That's coming up on October 21st at Highmark Stadium. You can look for information on that walk at kdka.com/ptl.